friends <coughs> welcome to my channel learn mainframe testing this is my first video please subscribe this video and i will come across with a lot of interview questions that will be asking in the mainframe testing part so first <coughs> We will give you all the mainframe testing interview questions usually the common questions they are asking in different top reputed companies and definitely i hope that it will help you to clear the external interviews as well as the internal and front interviews if you switch over from one account to another account within the same company so once again i'm requesting you to subscribe my channel so that you will be getting alert for all the new videos as there will be a series of videos i will make for this mainframe testing so first of all let us discuss what is the expectation it is required in the interview usually there are two type of questions that are asking in mainframe testing one is from the testing perspective what is functional testing what is system testing and second part is coming from the basics of mainframe so basics in the sense you should not be worried about COBOL only JCL, VISM, DB2 some online testing based testing if you know that is more than enough so first of all you should consider that the company wanted to just uh, know from you that how good you are in testing so when they will ask how good you are in testing just you want to know that how much confidence you are having in the testing process and uh, they want to know that how you know ever of that how to write the test plan test scenario and how to prepare the test case of your own the reason is that whenever in the mainframe testing developers they are coming from the mainframe background they are asking for testing roles so they don't have the idea of testing so for that they want to know the the basic knowledge of the testing way if you know this this question is very simple but don't take it lightly if you know any testing process or just give the answer with full positive if you are good in testing that is well and good or else if you are not good in testing just you go google some of the testing perspective and just get some idea and they will ask you just like the normal mainframe question jcl cobol how good you are in jcl how good you are testing just you rate yourself and uh, the expectation just you can give about the best line test best testing online testing and just they want to know that if you will be giving in the project you should work without anyone's dependency or less dependency the first question they may come across you that what is base testing and online testing in base testing just it is a common backend testing if you run jcl you have to validate the files and database that is in the batch testing and online testing just you have to on it uh, everything you have to work in the front content only when you enter some values automatically the response will come on the same system then they will ask how you are testing mainframe batch application testing so batch processing is nothing but you have to deal with jcl you have to run the jcl and you have to prepare the jcl and to check the output or file tables in the front end screens so batch processing is mainly used to process the huge volume of data at a time usually banking application insurance application they are using so usually this is a common question what is a job card usually whenever a testing person is coming to mainframe this is the common question the first test first statement of a jcl nothing but a job card where you have to identify the job the unit of worker uh, mainframe operation systems to confirm so for job statement this is nothing but the start of a job and to tell the system that how to process the job so <coughs> you have to give the job name you have to give the job card like this you have to start the job or slash job name and uh, all the job card parameters you have to give that regarding job card parameters i will come in the different video so again they may ask some few questions on the software testing what is very verification and validation so verification is nothing but it is that static analysis before executing the code you have to make the reviews and inspection and wrap through the documents that is verification and validation is nothing but 
when you are executing the code and you have to validate the expectation and non-expectation code that is called validation. What is the difference between regression testing and retesting? So retesting is nothing but when the test fails because of the defect, the defect is reported and uh, <coughs> once the new version of the software is uh, coming and the defect is fixed then to retest the same application to test whether it is working fine or no. Whereas regression testing is nothing but that due to the recent code of change, if it is not affecting any other values. So in mainframe testing, how you do regression testing? So regression testing is the common phase in any type of testing project. So in mainframe, what you do? You have to do the bad jobs and online screens who don't interact with the system under test. But you have to check it again whether it is affected by the change in code. So what is system testing in mainframe? So usually, as I told you earlier, that system testing is of two types. One is base, test, base testing and online testing. So base testing is it will be done by the validating the test result with the output files. Whereas online testing, you have to everything in the front end. So system testing, yeah, about that online based uh, integration testing also will be there. Database testing also will be there. So what are the steps involved in the base testing? So once the QA received the approved package from the developer, you have to convert the production JCL to uh, test uh, test JCL with the job setup and you have to copy all the production file into the test files and every functionality where the job sequence is coming that is to be submitted using the submit command the test data files and finally <coughs> you have to check out the error if uh, by you know J JCL scan you if anything has missed out then check out the final output file database and spool to validate the test result if the job fail then you have to go to the spool again to check if the, why there is a job failure what are the steps involved in the online testing it is simple only the online testing is not the test uh, environment so test each field of the acceptable data test the scenario whatever the scenario we have prepared verify the data and uh, database and data updates on online screen test reporting, defect should be logged, next should be revised. So usually this is a common question when every interview that what is the basic components of the defect report. So whenever you are creating a defect report, it should be project name, module name, defect detected on, detected by, defect ID and its name. You have to give the defect snapshot screen of the defect, whether to how is the priority and severity, and who is reserved and reserved on date. So defect bug cycle is nothing but the defect goes in various process during the entire lifetime. It starts when the defect is found and ends when the defect is closed. So what is the phases of defect life cycle? Usually when the defect is open, it is new. Uh, when it is assigned to a developer, it is assigned. When the developer is open, he will uh, resolve this issue. Before the result, it should be in the open. Once it is, it is uh, fixed, then it is fixed. Then you have to it has to come to the tester for retest and finally close. And in between that, if the developer is fixed and still it is not there, the, it is not get resolved. It have to reopen. If someone has opened the defect and the defect already raised by someone, that is duplicate defect. And if the defect assigned developer is sometimes rejected because he is not going to accept the re reject that is re rejected and if the developer feel that it cannot be resolved in the same iteration, it will differ by the other iteration. So, these are so this is my first YouTube channel. So, I in second, I requested you to subscribe my channel, like my video, and click the bell icon. Very soon, I'll be coming with one more video. Thank you.